Ray Ferraro. My name is James Sabalski. We are so excited to bring you all the action here on EA Sports tonight. Ray, I guess with what we're about to see on the ice, international relations could be impacted politically here in the world with this one tonight. Wow, that sounds like a pretty big game, James. How's that for a sell? I'm just thinking when you play with your country's flag on your chest, everything is a little different. It means a little more. We are about set to drop the puck as both centers make their way into the dot. Well, the height for this one has been off the hook. Puck is dropped. Let's see if this one actually lives up to it. Play whistle dead because of an offside. Team Russia's been really aggressive on the road here. They've got on the body early. They've carried the play. The game just needs a goal. Slides it diagonally to Pavelski. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Scores! What a shot! Wasn't a whole lot of room here, James, but he gets beat just inside the goal post. Team USA's play finally pays off here with a goal just past the midway mark of the first. Well, you got the lead. Don't sit back now. This is the time to be aggressive. Go get another one. USA's got a hold of it along the wall. Looks to set up at the point now. Taken by Kessel. McDonough's walking the line. Handles the puck. Whoa, he scores! They didn't sit back after getting that first one. They pile a back-to-back -back goal on here. I think he's just throwing this at the net. Quickly off his stick. He's a long way away. And it goes right past the goalie. Team USA is boasting a comfortable 2-0 lead. Ray, what yeah. are you seeing down at ice level? Domination, James. They've got the puck the whole time. Eventually, you're going to crack the other goalie, and they have a second time. At center ice now, he grabs the puck. Slides it across. Four out. They score! Well, this could be something that changes your year around. You get a few bounces like this, or you don't get a few bounces like this. The puck's off the post in the net. You don't get many of these odd man rushes in the game, so when you do get one, you better take advantage. Really nice play. Here in the later stages of this period, Russia's trailing by one. Puck is dropped and play resumes. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Putting the hard hat on here. What a hit. Look out, a two-on-one. Read it perfectly and breaks up the play. Scores! Johnny Goudreau! He didn't have much room up over the glove, but as soon as the goalie dropped into the butterfly, there was enough for him to put it into the top bin. Kuznetsov's won the draw. Tarasenko's the victim of a hook penalty coming up. Here comes the official's decision. Kachuk's going off for hooking. You get caught when you don't move your feet. Now you've got to reach out to slow the player down. He's in the box. Rightly so. Slides the puck ahead to Tarasenko. 
Well, this one's so far living up to the hype as the first period comes to an end. They'll head to the rooms, and here's hoping there's more offense in store because that was a most entertaining opening frame. We got a 3-1 game. Feeling hungry? Try our arena restaurant for gourmet dining with great views of the action. We'll get a light meal with one of our many grill As both teams get a breather, so will we. We'll take a quick pause for the cause. And we are just moments away from the start of period number two. USA's shorthanded unit gets off to a good start. They win the draw and take early possession. Grabbed along the boards by Larkin. Here's a short pass to Larkin. And now it's over to Wheeler. Big hit! Oh, James, sometimes you think you can get through a lane. But the lane is closed. That's a dead end. He scores! Ah, the power play comes through. They move the puck nicely, and they're able to capitalize on the extra man. Well, this is like a practice drill here, James. He's so open in the high slot. The pass is on the shooting spot, and he just hammers it home. Russia's got new life here in this second period, Ray. It's amazing what a goal does. The energy on the bench changes. Guys can't wait to get on for their next shift. And now it's grabbed by Carlson. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. Flips it up to net. Scores! Oh, that was a beauty! That's surprising. So quickly they've scored two goals in just about a minute 20. You wonder what momentum is. Two quick goals will do it. There wasn't much room there, but that's a snappy release. It beats the goalie low on the glove side. Russia's even the score here in the second. I've liked the way they've played this period. They've had pucks to the net, and they look like they've been pretty aggressive. They've now got the equalizer. USA's going to play the puck from behind the cage. And that one's turned away. He ran right through him on that hit. Lined him up, timed it perfectly. Orlov's got it in the offensive zone. Quick feed to Sergachev. Tripped up on the play. Delayed penalty coming up. Let's get the official decision. Getzel's getting two for tripping. Once he puts up his little token argument here, he's going to circle around a bit, try and regroup here as he goes to the penalty box. Are you box. a haggler? Always. You never think it's the right call. As they're about to drop the puck, the power play unit back out onto the ice for another opportunity. Eichel's won it in their own end. Russia's got the puck along the boards. Works it across to Sergachev. Makes the save. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Let's it go. Nice save by the keeper to trap that puck to his chest. There's the horn to end the period. This one living up to the hype so far through 40 minutes, tied at three. Hey fans, now is the time to pick up your team calendar. You can pick them up at Kiosk 144 on the lower level. Don't go anywhere. Third period is coming up, and it's coming up next. Scooped up along the wall by Dodanov. Receives the pass. Here's a One. shot. Scores! And the deadlock is broken! Well, what a crushing goal to give up. But the other guys worked hard for it. They pressed the play, and now they've got the lead. 
Oh, that's a great move. He gets in so tight to the goaltender. He sells the shot, holds it onto his forehand, and then puts it away. Team USA has gone ahead here by one in the third. What's the message now for the stretch run, Ray? To be aggressive. Too often teams sit back on their heels. They give up a chance. They give up a power play. Pretty soon it's an all-out scramble. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. Fans have been treated to a fun one tonight. Lots of offense. It's 4-3. Makes the save. What a reaction with the blocker. Pretty efficient save there. The goalie helps the D-man out by putting the rebound in the corner. He scores! What an effort. They keep staying at the game. They push. They're looking for the tying goal. They finally get it. Really nice play. Quick pass on the tape and into the net. So quickly the goalie can't get closed up and make the save. Russia's answered back here late in the third. Huge third period goal to tie things up. They've really worked hard and deserved this spot in the game. Now we'll see at even, the coaches really shorten their bench out and start double shifting guys. Russia's got the puck along the wall. Rister stopped by the goaltender. I like how he was able to follow the puck. Good save in close. Panarin's got it across the line. To his teammate, there's the goal, goal, and we have a new game. Taking the lead now, you control it. You push the pace, you push the other guys back on their heels. Well, that's a quick one-timer right in front of the net. The pass is there, he's got no time to do anything with it, and he beats the goalie. Team Russia's breathing a bit easier now here, coming up with a big goal in this third period. Their bench was pretty excited when that goal went into the net. Now they'll want to continue to be aggressive and don't let the opponent start to dictate the pace. In need of a goal, the extra attacker's out on the ice. Can't connect! Russia's got a hold of it along the wall. Dished on over to Kane. Good hit on the play. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. And there it is! Empty netter! That'll seal it up. Pretty easy one right there for him to cash in. That should be enough to wrap this thing up. The empty net goal should seal it. Russia's added to their lead with the empty netter, and Ray, that's pretty much all she wrote, I would say. Well, you grind away to get the lead through this much of the game, and they pull the goalie, they're going to pressure you. You put it away with an easy one into the empty net. Gibson's made his way quickly to and three. I got two of these in my career. I was never out at the end of the game. You had 400 goals and only scored two empty netters? Yeah, when we were protecting the lead, it was safest with me sitting down. What an indictment. Oh, yeah. They'd really have to screw this up now, James, to lose. The empty netter should put it away. Russia's up big time here in the late stages of this third period. Vulcans won it. Passes it to Sergachev. Slides it across to Orlov. And that's all she wrote on this one as we are in the books. The players hate this. It gets frustrating. You give up the one empty netter, and then the coach pulls the goalie again. Everybody knows you're not coming back. It made zero sense to keep the net empty at the certain point when you gave up the first goal and it just continued to bite them in the you-know-where. Foot? Yes. On behalf of Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabalski. Thanks for joining us. Good night.